Hi, I'm Q, and welcome to my tapes. I've been able to secure an unbelievable, (laughs) unmentionable, couldn't even believe it myself, an interview with a woman by the name of Sophia Nur. Go ahead and roll the tape. Hi, Sophia. Jerry, can she hear us? Oh, wait, is my mic on? Go ahead and um and start the interview. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Let's roll. Yeah. So my name is um Sophia Nur. You know. I'm. You know I'm not really a scammer, <laughs> but I'm sure we can talk about that. So. <laughs> wait. Am I British? So. <laughs> you know. I know this is not a genius interview, but, oh no, I'm from Canada. Oh, okay. Okay, so (laughs) I know this is not a genius lyrics explained video, but I've been invited by Q to come and explain myself for the audience. You know, I'm sure as you guys know, I've been in the press my audience would want me to like prove you're here you know what's that thing on your face like can we take it off or no I can't take this off right now listen all my socials right now are down um (laughs) I just want to keep it low-key so I just want to cover all identifying you know details on my face so the eyes will be covered I could put on my sunglasses I don't know would that work I mean Uh, girl (laughs) go ahead go ahead okay is this better okay great (laughs) so i really love these um sunglasses um they're uh um you know what's a brand um moncler telfar like so these are my exclusive you know louis vuitton sunglasses i actually got them on Canal Street, you know, exclusive, um, first priority. I wear this when the paparazzi takes my photo. Um, as you guys know, I'm carrying Jack Harlow's baby, so I just try to keep it as low key as possible. Um, but yeah, I've been invited here to talk about scams, you know, but you see, that's not true. I've been advised by my attorney, (laughs) um, because of course with 11 mil, I'm not losing this case, (laughs) but you know, enough jokes. So I've been advised by my attorney, you know, I'm not a scammer. No, mm -mm. no, I did not force anybody to, you know, give up any of their funds against their will. Gary, is there a PA on staff? Can you guys pull up Google? Please define fraud for us. Fraud. No, no, no. I think we need to be careful. I think we need to be careful with the words that we're using here. I, I am not a fraud. I'm not a scammer, okay? Now, you know, I think we can start here. What's the beginning? Because we need to just get to the point here. A lot of the influencers you see are not what you think, you know? Like, let's talk about other people. You know, why me? People want to call me an unscrupulous character, whatever that means. People want to say that I am possibly duplicitous. I don't know what that means. (laughs) I don't know what these things mean. You see, I'm none of those things, whatever they are. Um, I was just living the life, you know? People say that I'm a liar, but like, you can't confirm any of these details. Like, what if I really am a Harris? Like, what if I really do know these people? This is not, what is it, Hotline Bling? What are those, what's that movie called with Emma Watson? Like, I'm not that. I haven't hurt anybody. You know what I mean? What's 5,000? What's 5,000 to you guys? Really? What if, what if I did have some issues flying back? Really? What if there was a funeral? Really? You know, (laughs) we need to discuss, instead of me and expending resources for me to be here, we need to be discussing 
how expensive it is to live. Did I scam or is society scheming on me? These are all questions that I've had these past couple of months. Now, you see, I would have taken my sunglasses off at that moment, but, you know, we are obviously keeping it low key. <laughs> so I'm not a schemer and I'm not a scammer. OK, <laughs> sorry, my my angry voice is coming out. I'm I'm going to be scamming in the, you know, Barbadian, you know, oceans very soon. You know, Rihanna, call me, call me. So as I was saying, I'm none of those things. And I just believe that like a lot of your influencers, you know, maybe they're not as bright. Like if I scammed you out of money that I asked you for and you gave it to me, then maybe we need to be talking and discussing serious concerns about the literacy rates here. Maybe some people don't have common sense, you know? Like maybe we need to discuss what a fraud is, really. Really, we need to discuss it. I have had all these accusations brought against me. I've had to go dark. I've had to shut down my clubhouse. I've had to shut down my Instagram. I've had to shut down my Twitter. Meanwhile, I'm able to use all of these things to get closer to all of these people. Is it my fault that clout is currency? Hmm? Is it my fault that people are able to parlay mediocrity into cash? Listen, I was just fitting in, okay? I didn't steal. I didn't take. I didn't hit somebody over the head, drag their body into an black Escalade on 23rd West Street and hide it in a warehouse. Like, you know, it's just, it's not anything that I've participated against or to or whatever you need to say. So that is what I really want to say here. Do you have any questions? Like, because if not, I have an appointment, really. Like, I shouldn't even be in the country you know, the moment people call their attorneys, well, obviously I have one, but like some of these other people, you know, I don't know what it is. So I have to flee back to wherever it is I came from, which is not here. So if you don't have any other questions, then let's wrap this up. So in regards to the whole Jack Harlow carrying his baby, you know, I was just like, I don't even think I said that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even, did I even say that I was pregnant with Jack Harlow's baby? I, I don't even think, oh, I did? Okay, okay, so listen, um, <laughs> you know, I was just in a silly, goofy <laughs> mood, you know? Have you seen Jack Harlow? He went from some bumpkin, booty child out of Kentucky, and look where he is. He took a shower, he cut his hair, you know, he winks, you know what I mean? He has some bling bling, like, come on, like who is not the baby mother of Jack Harlow? Who? I mean, even Lil Nas X, they are like, probably like, they are all probably parents. Like, listen, he could make anybody pregnant, like it could happen, like he could look at you, he could look at me, he's just that type of guy. So just, you know, that's my answer on that. Silly, goofy mood. It was a joke. Okay, it was a joke. Next question. So in regards to where the $11 million are sitting, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Right now, I've been advised by my attorney to just deny um, and offer no comment. So I have no clue what you mean by me storing the amount of money that people are claiming that I stole or defrauded them out of. I have no clue what that means. So even if I did have $10 million left, kept in a safe, I don't know, kept in a briefcase that I threw on 94th Street, I wouldn't know. So there's that. Next question. <laughs> What's next for me? You know, before these meddling kids got in my business, I was going to ride my way to the top. I mean, I was going to perform my way to the top. You know, I'm a very talented individual more talented than your faves. Um, I'm smart, I'm resourceful, I'm brilliant, I'm cute, and I have clear skin, clear skin, okay? So listen, 
what's next for me is to be seen. Um, I don't know, like maybe Q could keep me in mind. Like with $10 million, I think I could do something. Um, any last words from me are pretty much that uh, you all are fucking idiots. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's not my fault that people deify you so much so that you are an imbecile letting me into your house. Like, of course you know me. Why are you letting strangers into your house? Is it crack? <laughs> Other last words for me are that, you know what? I'm casting my new, you know, show, movie. Um, listen, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm thinking of a concept. You know, there's more than one of me, right? I'm not the only one who slept at these people's houses. I'm not the only one who these people have given money to. <laughs> I'm not the only one who they're so high on their own supply that they just, I don't know, they can't help but want to be in proximity to other famous people. I'm thinking of a movie with five of my friends. We break into somebody's house. Because did we really break into your house? Really? And, you know, we just take all their jewels. Like, I don't even think anybody has done that yet. I think it's ingenious. I see it all the time. And you guys just, you just can't help yourself. I think this movie would be brilliant. So if you want to get casted, you know, I'm looking for somebody who, you know, they talk a little like Rihanna. Like, I'm looking for somebody who's like a little bit of Beyonce. I'm looking for somebody that's a little bit like Santana, you know. I'm looking for some Atlanta chicks, okay. Atlanta is my next play. So if you fit that description, definitely email me. Definitely, like, call me. No, no, no. I'll, I can reach out to you. Like when I reactivate, just like put your comments down below or something. Put like a put like a, a phone emoji or something and I'll hit you up soon. So, yeah, I'm Sophia Nur. I mean, I don't know. Big purr. Ah, material girl. Bye, bitches. Hi, everybody. I'm Q and welcome to my tapes. If you like that, I don't know. I Listen, I'm in a silly, goofy mood. Silly, goofy mood. This was a shock for me. This was a shock for me. I know it's in a while, but like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Um, I also thought this was ironic because like, if you know me for real, for real, like the amount of text messages that I have been getting for reasons that I'm not going to get into. But one of them is that I actually do some of you if you if you're new here, you don't know this. But if you if you're from here, you know this. So I actually do work with creators, influencers, talent managers. Um, I guess that's all the details that I would give. Um, but just kind of hearing some of the stories on the back end have been funny. Um, some of the people that I know, should I be saying this? I don't know that, you know, so, you know, some thousands of dollars be taken. And I think all I'm going to say, because they don't know that I obviously have this channel because my real name is obviously not Q. Um, I just, I don't know. Once again, like the deification of, you know, creator and celebrity and how clout really is money. Like clout is money. And I think the third thing I'll say is, I don't want to say mediocrity because I was using that word with Sophia, but it's just like, you know what? Well, like, so, so people can really take you fidiots. So, 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 I, so come on. And you know, it's just, listen, the roast hand has been up and mighty. Um, good luck to old girl. You know, she said, eat the rich because y'all are imbeciles, bro. I kind of want to see this be played with people who are like wealthy because like, Wealthy people do not know how to manage their money also. Like, people don't know this. You know what I mean? They, they don't be managing money. They scam. They exploit. They lie. They lie. Lie, lie, lie. Very mediocre. Very lazy. You know? So, you know, and this is coming from someone who's actually had to work around people who do, in fact, sit, sit this data. So, it, obviously, you know, you, you know, you know, some people, they live on the Twitters, you know, and they talk about all these fanciful notions of people that they literally have never had access to. So, you know, this is all very funny. I kind of enjoyed making this. I kind of want to say more. I I don't know. I I but you know it wouldn't be in Q fashion. I you know y'all know I'm a myster I'm a mysterious automaton. So let me just keep it at that. Huh? If you made it this far, yeah yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you made it this far, you gotta drop the fruit emoji. Go ahead and subscribe. I don't know. We're gonna be talking soon. We're gonna be talking soon. Um, I think I want to 
there's a video that I've been working on about like why is doing hair so expensive and that shit cracked me up. So I don't know re really what I'm going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to say next. I make no promises. It's more likely that I'll go live more than I'll post a video because I just can't wait to talk to you guys. So yeah, if you made it this far, drop a fruit emoji. Um, I don't know. Also, Sophia, like for real, for real, like Sophia Nur. listen, if you ever come across this video and you do want me to interview you, let's chat. I have questions. Oh, I have questions. I, it's not that I don't have like, well, actually, let me not. Let me not. Uh, let me not say what I was going to say. I was going to say, mm, I'm sure I could find you on my own, like d if that makes sense. Like I, I'm sure I could just find you on my own, but I'm just like, this is funnier. I think this is cooler. And honestly, you know what I mean? Like, why not? Let's chat. Like, I think that would be funny. I think that would be that would be like ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. So Sophia Nur, if you're seeing this, go ahead to the description box. Go get my email right there. Go ahead and shoot me an email. Go ahead and shoot me an email. Let's chat, like for real. Like I'm not even playing, let's chat. So that's all I have. How are you guys? How are you guys? Like, ah, like I'm so excited. Okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> Subscribe. I don't say that often but i guess subscribe if you like the energy okay if you like the format okay i have a lot of thoughts and this shit this shit just made me crack like this really like this was this was it this is this is the thing this is the thing that i think was going to bring me out of like all of everything that i've just been sitting on so i had fun let me know if you guys have any thoughts tell me how your week has been going it's friday bitches Let's get it. Let's get it. This is in another one of my tapes. I'm Q and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.